Well, we're watching radar as we're heading into the afternoon hours. We do have a chance for some severe storms that are coming our way. You can see that American flag right there and how strong it's blowing. The winds have picked up some of the strongest winds we've seen in quite some time. Out of the west, 12 miles an hour. The barometer, 29, 81 hundredths of an inch. The dew point coming in 62 degrees. It is still fairly low for us to be expecting any type of severe weather. Uh, but the setup is going to be an interesting one, but one that could produce uh, some stronger storms, including some severe thunderstorms. 79 degrees your temperature right now. I do think that we're on our way to the mid 80s today, likely at around 84 degrees or so for that expected high. Here's what's going on. We do have the uh, Storm Prediction Center has us under what they call a slight risk of severe weather. Generally, that means that you can expect a couple, about three, four, maybe upwards of five severe thunderstorm warnings being issued in this area that is highlighted today. We already have some rain and storms coming in. Thunderstorms right around the Erie area at this point. Also off to our west around Cambridge. We're going to zoom into Butler County. We'll show you what's going on there. This is going to be right on top of Glade Mills. You can see the Hoosville area as well. There is Jefferson. This is a downpour that's coming in. No lightning being detected in this. That's certainly some good news. And even though that our model here is trying to show some hail, it's not seeing any hail, at least at this point. Just a downpour is what we're looking at. Big precipitation rate. The nice news is heading to the east at 34 miles an hour. Let's talk a little bit about what we can expect today because this is going to be the perfect kind of example of that. Notice how fast it's moving 34 miles an hour. That's going to limit any of our flash flooding concerns that we'll have today because these systems, these storms will be fast moving and we're not expecting to see uh, any training with this. We'll watch closely, but we're not expecting to see that. We are expecting, though, to see some of uh, the large, those dark reds uh, you know, right there in the middle of those cells, and it will likely, especially when you start to see a lot of lightning in any of those cells, produce some large hail. So the biggest concern right now is large hail, and then that's going to be followed by uh, the secondary concern, some strong gusts winds as those cells moving at 34 miles an hour roll in. Here's the Hillville area, Carn City as well, Bruin. You can see some of the rain that's heading there and also just a pop up storm just off to the east of Uniontown. Wanted to show you that that is there as well. There's the line. A lot of lightning here, a lot of lightning back to our west, and that's all going to be blowing through over the afternoon. Best chance for rain will be after one all the way through about seven or eight o'clock tonight, and that's where we have those solid chances for some rain. Temperatures this hour at 79 in Pittsburgh and we're expecting a high of 84 degrees. Hey, we get through the rain storms over the afternoon and evening hours tonight and look what's next. Picture perfect weather setting up Friday, Saturday and Sunday. There's a lot of events going on.